Well, we sat down with 28 Republicans and they gave us their very clear points of view on a second by second basis. Watch this. How many of you walked into this room supporting Mitt Romney? Raise your hands. How many of you thought Mitt Romney won the debate? Raise your hands. So it's a clear consensus. What is it that Romney did that you found so positive? Romney, he was very optimistic and forward-looking, and he was the only one who really talked about bringing together the fiscal, economic, and social conservatives of the Reagan, so the only one who said that. Why Romney? Uh, he was very articulate, looked very presidential. He was very secure in his positions. You were concerned about his religious background before. Are you still? Uh, he totally clarifies all my puzzles on his religion, and he's the only one who says this, uh, at a very open and very clear, and um, clearly he's electable. Why Romney? I didn't think he was uh, electable. I thought he was kind of uh, not, not an articulate, not a very smart guy, but uh, uh, he showed that he had very good knowledge of the issues. He uh, looked presidential. He, he backed up what he was going to say uh, economically, uh, socially, environmentally. Did you, none of you felt he was scripted? No. Yes. Definitely not. I did. He was, he, was, yeah. he was practiced. You thought he was practiced? He was yeah. not flying off the seat. He knew what he was well, going to say and what you, he was talking about. If you followed about. Romney over the last year, he's very, very cool, and he knows what he wants to say, and he's very good on the stump, so I think that comes through on, a, on, a, on the debate. Absolutely. Sorry. Even when he talked about Iowa, yeah. you know, he, he, because he's there. So it was, and I want to just address Iowa. You know, to me, it's, it, it's a salesman. I don't want a salesman as a president. He, he seems to come across a little too slick for me. I mean, he just, I, I just, I can't, yeah. Um, I disagree. I thought he was very confident of, of himself and the policies that he set out, um, both in terms of his agenda as well as um, for the Republican Party in general. One of the strongest moments was when Fred Thompson refused to raise his hand. So you're, you're nodding your hand. You're nodding your head. <laughs> Why did that stand out to you? What was so important about that? Because he goes through it up. He has convictions. That's right. Yeah. Whether you feel it's right or the wrong thing to do, he's, he has convictions and he's stuck by them. He wasn't going to uh -huh. play the political game. Right. Yeah. He's straight yeah. forward. He wasn't going to play into the yeah, hands strength. of the moderator. It, was, he was, it just showed his strength, which we haven't seen a lot of, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, so he wasn't he playing into the hands of the commentator. He sounded very tired. So by show of hands, how many of you thought that was a smart strategy to stand up to the moderator? So you think they should be doing it in the future? Yes. 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 So who's the one who disappointed? How many of you came in here supporting Rudy Giuliani? Okay, about a third of you. How many of you walked out of here thinking Rudy Giuliani won the debate? He disappointed me at the beginning, but at the very end he came through when he gave his principles and his plan for the nation very strong, and so I changed my mind back again. I, I support Giuliani, but when the, when the focus is not on national security and when it's on the other social and economic issues, he blends in with the rest of the crowd. Yeah. Reactions. I, just, see, I, I, I disagree with that, though, because he got away from just being a 9-11 mayor and he cited his other accomplishments. So he just didn't cite just one reason why he wants to be president, his other reasons as well. He mentioned that he reduced the size of government in New York City successfully, and he mentioned his uh, U.S. attorney background also. And that matters you know. to you? Yes. But yes. why did you think he won the debate? You walked in here supporting him. Where was he? What advice would you give Rudy Giuliani? What advice would you give him? I would stop trying to pretend to be a supply sider, to be the most conservative in the race. He doesn't have a record of that. He should stick to his strengths and not. You come across right now as damaged goods. I think after Tim Russert, I don't think he came across well. And he needs to be able to answer these questions with more conviction. I think he's stammering and stuttering when he's challenged on this. He's got to stop talking a lot about New York City and talking about what he's going to do for the future, what he's going to do for he's America. very repetitious. Yeah, he just he talked, he talked previously all about America and everybody having a go at him on his previous record with his financial nonsense. He needs to be an American Brit, candidate. Britt, when we do these debates, you, usually there's some sort of a split in how people react in terms of winners or losers. We don't have a loser this time, but clearly Mitt Romney was the winner, and boy did he need it for this debate. Let me ask you one question. We were all a little bit um, surprised, shall we say, about the way the moderator handled this debate. I noticed that your audience reacted much as we did to the fact that Fred Thompson stood up to the moderator, but let's get a view of, of what, what they, perhaps we were unfair. These, these, the, your audience seemed to take away a lot of information and got a lot out of the debate. So perhaps we were unfair. Would you ask them what they thought about our moderator? How many of you thought that this was a good moderator? Raise your hands. How many of you thought the moderator needed help? Just for the heck of it, one word or phrase to describe the moderator. Boring. Dry. Antagonistic. Boring. Dr dull. 
rigid. Paint drying. So even though they picked up information, they did not like this. It, uh, let's hope the moderator herself doesn't run for office. <laughs> all right, one other thing. Um, obviously, the, 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 the person we were all expecting to hear, uh, perhaps even under attack, was Mike Huckabee, who came in and leading in all the polls. Uh, obviously, your audience thought, uh, thought Mitt Romney did better, but what did they think about Huckabee? Okay, everyone's talking about Mike Huckabee. Did he perform well? No. Adequately or poorly? No. Poorly. poorly. Uh, fairly poorly. Uh, I think he went into this, the media's talking about being the huck -a boom I think it was more like a huck -a bomb <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't as impressive as uh, the media's kind of been playing him up lately. That's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, the expectations for him were so great, uh, but he didn't, I, I don't think he met the expectations. I think at this point he's more about cliches and being quick-witted than actual content. That's what I think the difference was. He wasn't as sharp today as he's been in the other debates. How many of you were disappointed with Huckabee's performance today? This was not his finest moment, Brett. Well, I guess, Frank, it illustrates t uh, once again the perils of being a front runner in an, earlier, in an early state with a few weeks to go to the, uh, to the voting. Frank Luntz, thank you very much. Thank you.